So in this video, we are going to add the logic needed to make our character collect coins. We are also going to add the UI elements for the total coins collected and the distance covered. So now I am going to go to the content browser over here and in the third person blueprints, I am going to go to the BP third person game mode, just open it up and in here we are going to create a new function. I'm going to call this add coins and we're going to create a new variable called current coins. Make sure to change the variable type to integer. Drag this over here and we're going to set the value. Connect the execution pin and then from current coins, drag it and type add. Drag the current coins and we're going to get the value and then give this a value of 1 over here this is basically increase the number of current coins by 1 whenever this function is called so then back to the content browser open up the coin bp and in here select the coin component over here the static mesh drag down and in collision we are going to set this as overlap only pawn and similarly, over here, make sure to select on component begin overlap. From here, we're going to cast to, to third person character. And then from here, we're going to cast again to the third person game mode. From the object input pin, drag out and type get game mode. I'm going to drag. Oh wait, before we do that, over here, make sure to compile this so that this add coin function is actually registered in the engine so that when we drag over here no errors will happen so now type the function add coins and then from here we're going to add a sound whenever we collect the coins so type play sound at location and in the location we're going to drag and type get actor location so this node will basically get the current location of the actor that is the coin so that the sound always happens whenever the coins are collected at the location where the coin is spawned so in the select asset over here for sound files uh, you can actually preview them by clicking on over these little icons over here so what I'm going to do is select VR and over here we, I have a particular sound that I prefer. So I kind of like this sound over here. So this is included in the starter content. So if you have selected the starter content then this should be available for you. So just select this and then drag out and type destroy actor. And that's it. Compile and try this game out. Alright, so the coin collection system is currently working as intended. Now, we want to have some UI elements so that we can actually see how many coins we have collected. So to do that, I'm going to create a new UI for that. So we're going to create a widget blueprint. Select user widget. So select this. And in here, you will have this blank like screen over here. And over in the palette section over here, on the left side, drag down and you have this option called panel. So open it up. And you will have this option called canvas panel. Drag this and it will open up a canvas over here. You can also adjust the resolution over here by playing around with the with the arrow. And I'm gonna select an ADP. So yeah, 1080. Now what we're gonna do is select a horizontal box and drag it over there and 
I'm going to drag the text text widget over here drag it into the horizontal box so that it is actually you know properly anchored and parented under the horizontal box over here and I'm going to drag text box again and connect it to the horizontal box so that it is also parented to horizontal box and I'm going to name the first text block as coins and the second text block I'm just going to give this a bunch of zeros to represent that there are going to be values over here so I'm just going to adjust the horizontal box over there and now what I want to do is select select on the text box where we're going to be adding our own numbers to represent the number of coins that we have collected so over in the details panel under content just the area where we named it you have this option called bind click on this and then select create binding this will open a new uh, window under graph view so you have designer view if you want to go back over here or you can go to the graph area or the graph view to add logic to the UI so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag out and type cast to the third person game mode so from the third person game mode drag the object input pin and then type get game mode and from here I'm going to drag this out the as bp third person game mode drag this out and then type the variable that we created in it that is current coins so we're going to get the current coins in it and then connect this value over to the return value all right so just like this so compile this and i'm going to dock this game ui over here uh, before we run over here in the game mode go to the event graph and in the event graph drag the begin play over here over to the side and then type create widget and in here select the game ui bp that is the widget that we have created and then we need to add this to the viewport so drag this out and then type add to viewport make sure to connect the return value over here and then compile this and then run so you can see our coins have appeared the coins ui as you saw we are able to collect the coins and the coins ui is able to update according to the number of coins that we have collected So now we need to add a score UI. So go back to the designer and I want to add a score. So to do that, I'm going to go create another horizontal box or I could try duplicating this. All right, so I'm going to click on this over here, drag this down, and this one. I'm going to adjust it with the same x value so I'm going to give it 84 let's make sure that everything is aligned properly so let's keep adjusting the values according to that call this as distance and the value will remain the same so I'm just going to adjust the horizontal box so now in here go over and select the value beside the distance text widget over here and we are going to do the same thing as we have done before we are going to bind it so create a new binding actually we hadn't created the logic for the score or the distance so let's go back over to the event graph and then over here i'm going to right click and then create a new event a tick event and then i'm going to create a new variable called distance centimeters so make sure that it is also an integer so from here i'm going to drag distance centimeter and i'm going to set the value then drag from the distance centimeter input pin and type add and again drag from distance centimeter this time we're going to, we're going to get the value 
then i'm going to give a value of 1 over here after that i'm going to add a new variable so click on here and then type distance meters so distance and m make sure to give this an integer as well and i'm going to drag this out and again set the value and act it like that and then from the distance meter input pin i'm going to type divide and i'm going to give a value of 100 over here and then drag distance centimeter over here and then connect the node like this so again the reason why we added these nodes is because i don't want the value in the distance or the score to constantly keep changing if i were to traditionally add a single value every frame it will be rapidly going up and you can't even read it so instead of doing that i wanted the number to slowly increase over time and that's the reason why i'm doing this calculation over here where from distance centimeter i'm going to divide it by 100 and the resulting value will be added to this distance meter and this is the variable we are going to use in our distance over here so in back in the blueprint widget I'm going to drag this over here and type cast to game mode and drag from here being going to type get game mode after that actually make sure to compile this otherwise it won't show up so again drag from the as third person game mode and then search for distance meter so distance meter and connect this over to the return value over here compile this and now try running the game now you can see the distance is being added after a certain duration and the coin value is being updated every time we collect a new coin so that's all there is in this video thanks for watching and see you later bye